Greetings, Silent Stacker here. Today's video is another local coin shop haul from April 13th, 2024. Spot price of gold on that day was $2,345.41. Spot price of silver was $27.96. Um, let's go ahead and get right into it. We'll start out with this. Um, most would argue that uh, investing in 40% silver is a poor investment. And I would tend to agree, but I am partial to uh, Kennedy half dollars. And even though uh, I get them at melt, uh, I've been told that if I ever try to sell them, I'm going to get back of spot by quite a ways. But either way, this was a pretty nice example, so I went ahead and grabbed it. Um, got a, a sterling silver medallion here that I thought was kind of interesting. We have a, a date of 1969, as you can see right there. She will focus for me. Yeah, there you go. Um, as you can see, it's a one small step for a man, one giant leap for mankind. So obviously this commemorates our landing on the moon. Here, men from the planet Earth first set foot upon the moon, July 1969 AD. We came in peace for all mankind. And you, the only signature I can for sure make out is uh, Richard Nixon down there at the bottom. There it is, Sterling. Uh, got this at Melt. And then here, I always like it when, in this case, this is a 1962 proof set. I like these uh, old shipping labels. I think they're very cool. This Got the original paperwork here. Very nice. And here we have the coins, as you can see, in nineteen sixty two. as well was also purchased at Melt. I uh, had a couple of these last week. These are the uh, GSA Carson City Morgan Silver Dollars. Uh, I believe last week I had an 83, 1883, and 1884. She'll come out of there. Um, and this week I got an 1882. This was offered to me last week as well, but I basically just didn't have enough money to pick it up, but it was still available this week, so I went ahead and purchased. And same as last week, without the COA, um, was 230. That's nice. Uh, graded uh, MS-63 PCGS. It's a 1945 Walking Liberty. Pretty nice condition. That was $20. Uh, this was different. Um, never seen this company before. Lady, Lady Liberty Bullion. It's uh, dated 2023, 28 grams. The design is Lady Justice, and then we have an artist signature there. All I could find on the internet regarding this place was a silent video showing, I don't know, three or four different designs uh, that did say that uh, in the caption that it was, uh, all their stuff was uh, sand cast. Um, Everything was by hand, and uh, you basically contact them for pricing. But it's 999 fine silver, and there's their stamp, Lady Liberty Bullion. Um, this is probably the most uh, 
expensive silver I bought this weekend. It's only 28 grams, but I did pay $29 for it. Um, I thought it was quite unique, so I went ahead and grabbed that. Um, I had several of these in my stack this weekend. I thought this one was interesting. It's on a little piece of wood, kind of like your wood nickels, you see. John Mack 50, the Copper King, one gram, 999 fine silver. And as you can see, we've got a, uh, a dragon on that. So I thought that was pretty wild. Um, we've got three grams of your classic uh, combi bar from Bell Combi. So those two are still intact, have not been snapped, and then one is snapped loose. Um, and we've got this one here. It's called the Liberty Bell Bar, 999 fine silver, one gram. And that's basically what it says there. The Liberty Bell, 999 fine silver. And on the back, um, Apparently this is the Pan Silver Company that made these. And that is what is stamped on the back. That was interesting. These here, I could not find these on uh, the internet. Um, but these are your uh, 2012, the Fiji, um, what is it called? The Fiji Taku, the, the sea turtle deal. Um, I couldn't find anything about the one gram version of these, but that appears to be what we have here. Um, we got two of these and they're both in capsules. So I thought that was interesting. And then last but not least on the uh, small weight stuff, we got this. Um, this stuff in here, when magnified, is this. And it's basically pure silver dendrites. And inside this card is a description of how to make crystalline silver. And it's, it goes over the whole process of how it is you would go about doing that, which I found to be quite interesting. And, uh, you know, 47 is uh, on from the... Um, periodic table of the elements, that's uh, silver's position, and 107.87 is the atomic weight of silver. And this was something that I had never known before, but th this particular um, designation is apparently the electron, uh, what, electron positioning or something to that effect of silver. But in any event, um, my seller, he wasn't sure exactly how much this weighed in here. So he went ahead and bought it as a gram and sold it to me as a gram. So all the gram stuff, I, I paid uh, spot on that stuff. Um, I did buy a little bit of paper. I, I do collect paper money as well. Um, I like these little sets like this, they're kind of fun, but this one here is called the No Motto Collection, and, and that has to do in part with um, these early silver certificates, um, the earlier ones. In this case, it, it changed in 1935, but um, the earlier series, like here we have the 1935E, there was no In God We Trust above the one on the back. Um, I think that started with 1935G, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but in any event, we've got that, and then we've got some examples of, of various coins here. Buffalo Nickel, Barber Dime, Liberty Head Nickel, the Indian Head Penny. Um, and these are all, again, uh, no motto. I like picking up stuff like this when it's cheap. Um, it's just a good conversation starter when you're... You know, showing it to people who really don't have any knowledge of our currency and coins from the past. And then also had another one here. Um, this was really pretty nice. Crisp and circulated $2 bill, 1963A. Talks about the Red Seal. Uh, until the series of 1963, the $2 United States note was issued along with other types of U.S. currencies, such as silver certificates and Federal Reserve notes. 
All three types of banknotes circulated together. They can be easily identified by the different color treasury seals and serial numbers. The familiar Federal Reserve notes are green, while the United States note was red and the silver certificate was blue. So that's what that's about. And it's a nice example of that bill. As you can see, this is the earlier design because the, the later design that they did in 1976 um, has basically a scene of the signing of the Declaration of Independence, which is uh, very different from this. So, those were neat. And on the uh, silver rounds, um, these were uh, $28 an ounce. Uh, this is a half ounce. This would be the uh, Golden State Mint version here. Kind of a takeoff on our uh, uh, gold Indian head coins. Uh, similar to what you saw in my video last week with the uh, pendant that had the $2.50 gold coin in it. But uh, it's an in design, which I always think is kind of a, a nice break from the typical. Got a couple of these. I have others of these in the stack. Uh, thought I'd go ahead and grab a couple more since I'd like to make full tubes out of this stuff, but they have this design on the back. I do not know who strikes these. I, I tried looking it up to see if I could find anything, but I, I really couldn't. So if you have any knowledge about who it is that immense these, uh, feel free to drop that down in the comments below. Uh, we got uh, a Queen Elizabeth II, 2021. Canadian maple leaf. That may be a shiny. And we've got uh, some jam bullion. Is there a silver round with their trademark on it? Nice example. I have a uh, 1988 Olympiad commemorative. Got the Olympic rings on the back. United States of America, E Pluribus Unum. This was at Melt. And last but not least, a uh, 2006 Gold Buffalo Proof. It's still in the original uh, uh, U.S. Mint capsule. It's got the square edges to it. Um, so kind of their classic capsule design there at the Mint. See, we got the West Point Mint Mark. Uh, very nice condition. And uh, this was uh, $30 over spot. Uh, I did go ahead and uh, went on eBay and grabbed me a um, empty box and uh, you know certificate of authenticity and all that good stuff um, for about I think it was about twenty bucks something like that. It'd be nice to put this all back together in its original set like it originally came. So I went ahead and invested in that. But um, that's all I have for this week. Um, I actually did, I picked up some bars as well, but I'm going to be doing some videos on the uh, guardhouse box challenge, so I'm saving the bars for, for those videos. But that's all I have for you this week. Uh, I appreciate your time, and thank you for watching.